So, Julia, we've just bumped into one another. Yes. And, and you're a dealer here at yes. Antiques on High in Oxford. Yes. And you mentioned to me that you do rather well with religious books. Yes, there seems to be a market for them in Oxford, which it's, is yeah. interesting, yes. It yeah. is interesting because it's, yeah. it's, it's not a usual sort of market for an antique centre. No, especially the Christian books, maybe you might find... Well, I'm not sure if you, you'd even find those, but I do Jewish vintage stuff, which right. goes reasonably well. It's quite hard to find, but... Uh, yeah. It does sell quite well. Can you show me some examples? Yes, yes, okay. it's, it's over here. Yeah. So this is this is all your area. This and the, and the cabinet next okay, to it. Okay, so it's all but very vintagey. And it's yeah. This, this, for example, I've got some sidurs here, which are Jewish prayer books. All oh, right. And that that one there. These are services of the synagogue, and then just general religious books. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that you actively search for. Yes, then, is yes, it? and stars of David, people like and. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure where you get vintage ones elsewhere, actually. No. And I think Americans are particularly interested in it, it seems to be. And do you find that people come in specifically looking for these things, or they come across them and they oh, I've got to buy it? I think a, a, a mixture, because um, some of the students know I've got the religious books. Right. And they tend to be, to a certain extent... Uh, less usual ones like they've been latin or imitation of christ not just bibles oh i see okay well so, the latin ones would would uh, appeal very much to the oxford yes, uh, university yes, students yeah. i suppose wouldn't yes. they how very interesting do you have a particular favorite religious um, book at the moment uh, uh well this is quite interesting this is um flowers from jerusalem this is vintage oh okay yeah go, let's go through that nice and slowly Thanks so this you. this is a a tourist piece from the early part of the 20th century right, isn't yes. it yeah and it has photographs plus actual original oh wow can i touch that yeah okay so so a pilgrim would go to jerusalem yes, uh, and, yes. and they would buy the book as a memento and bring back not only pictures of the holy land but literally pieces yes, of the holy yeah, land the flowers as and well. that's that lovely can i yes. just open that flower will you do that i don't yeah. want to so literally they come back okay, one's a bit stuck. with yeah a piece of the land really Sorry. they're all stuck <laughs> not normally <laughs> <laughs> we got the first one out yeah there we go look at and that, that. And that's original from early isn't 20th that, century yeah isn't beautiful. that gorgeous yes. and, and what sort of price would that be what have I got on it? Uh, 38. 38 And they've got an olive, olive wood cover. That which is, is absolutely nice lovely. Inlaid. So interesting, yes. Really yeah. unusual thing. Yes. And yeah. and not very much money. No, no, not for what it is. You know, all handmade and... Fabulous. Sort of antique, yes. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Do you enjoy yourself here? Yeah, I love it here. I love working with the people. I love customers coming and seeing everything. I love it, yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, I think you're doing a smashing job. Well done. Keep on going. I will. Great to see you. And you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. How interesting was that? Now, if you find yourself in Oxford at any time in the future, do call into Antiques on High. It's on the High Street. Meet Julia and the rest of the dealers. You've been made very welcome.